Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video, and this one is talking all about air attacks at Town Hall 9. Uh, we're seeing some really cool stuff at Town Hall 9 right now, and I wanted to share just a few attacks, all very different types of air attacks, but all using air troops. So I think it's worth taking a look at. Uh, so today we're going to take a look at a few different bases from the last war and how they were taken out by these air attacks. We're getting right into it, and this one to start, I just couldn't resist had to show one of these um, these uh, back-end balloon attacks. It's one of those things where all four air defenses, uh, in some way or another, are in the middle of the base. They can be accessed by the same kill squad, so you can come in, uh, take out those four air defenses, then surround the base with balloons. Now, not every base is this simple. I mean, this base has kind of the four air defenses going in that uh, kind of middle ish type compartment area and I know that's kind of a not the most common thing on anti three star bases but you do see stuff that's similar um, and you can still kind of exploit the base in a similar way so awesome job with the bowler funneling by Sicaro uh, has the jump a few Valks which I like that he included the Valks are good even in you know one or two or three of them because what they do is they run out in front they can trigger giant bombs they can take out heroes they're really a good tank for your bowlers because the golems have different paths Thing than the bowlers and the heroes. The golems are going for defenses, whereas the, the Valks, they think more like your heroes do and your bowlers do. So by using those Valks, it's ensuring that the uh, the initial damage will most likely stay off your, uh, your important DPS troops like your king and your queen and your bowlers. And uh, even if the golems fail to tank, you'll at least get some initial value out of those Valks. And like I said, they often do run ahead and trigger traps because of how fast they are and because they target buildings that are uh, stuck together, which often propels them deep into the base. So anyway, he just crushed this base, took out the four air defenses, then surrounded it by back-end balloons. We'll fast forward to the end here. A uh, nice attack. We have a few more to look at. Both uh, air attacks as well, but they're using um, some different strategies, which I think is really cool. Um, so next one, base number 21. Um, also Sakaro, so another nice attack by him. And this is a strategy I, I'm liking more and more uh, the more I see it. I, in the past, have been skeptical about Baby Dragon. Take a look at this. Seeking Air Mine on the Baby Dragon drops another one and another Seeking Air Mine. I mean, that's so unlucky. I think like 20 troops, 22 troop space down the drain right away. I'm almost surprised he dropped another Baby Dragon. Because, uh, I mean, at that point, who knows? There could be another Seeking Air Mine there. But I guess um, third time's a charm. Finally, for that 30 troop space investment, gets the funneling and the cannon taken out. So, just shows the power of this attack that he can still get the three star, even with that unlucky opening. I like how he uses the king to kind of help create the funnel, take out a few defenses, because uh, honestly, the king doesn't have much of a job besides that. Uh, drops the rage down for the queen, lets her deal with the CC troops, and the earthquakes are spot on, opening up access to really all four of those air defenses if she walks deep enough into the base. But definitely, those first three are very very accessible. So another type of base where if the air defenses are somewhat close together, um, at least three of them, sometimes you can even zap quake the other one. But if the air defenses seem to all be accessible, either bring a kill squad or bring a queen walk like we're doing here in the second attack, get those air defenses taken out. And then uh, from there, you should be able to uh, use balloons or baby dragons uh, on the rest of the base. So he drops in his baby dragons, get those guys going early. They do take a little while to make their way through. So even if the air defense isn't quite down, if it's going to go down in the next, you know, 30 seconds you can start those baby dragons like he does right there actually has a lava hound to tank so i guess the plan was not for the queen to actually get that air defense even though she might have eventually stepped up and gotten it has the lava hound drops it in a tad late but honestly not that big of a deal you don't want to drop it in too early for sure uh, so the lava hound tanks for a little while uh, almost didn't even need it so another 30 troop space he didn't need <laughs> in addition to all this stuff at the beginning uh, they went down to those seeking air mines but has that last rage for the queen and the power of this is that the baby dragons don't need many spells so you can invest so many rages in your queen if you have a level 30 queen that helps a lot because she goes to the base so much quicker uh, she got so much value for him uh, and she's still up making her way through taking out the king taking out defenses all that good stuff the lava hound is still up ton of baby dragons left up uh, crush this base awesome attack we'll fast forward just a few more defenses that go down then the cleanup have one more and it's a different type attack not like the first two um, troll tesla in the corner by the way takes a while but he eventually gets it so nice attack uh, so yeah like like i said one more to take a look at this is number 
uh, just one down at 22. And this is something that's a very interesting uh, attack, and it's a good point I want to make based off what he does. Um, the space is really spread out. There's kind of the two different parts. There's the bottom right and the top left, and they're separated by a bunch of dead space. So you can kind of approach this base different ways. Uh, Rich chooses to do a air attack, obviously, and he's coming in at the bottom here with a kill squad, just one golem, uh, coming in here trying to get the uh, the queen taken out, the air defense taken out. I like the placement on the jump because it opens up the compartment with the air defense, the expo, um, the uh, archer tower. This is a cleanup attack, so he does have the luxury of knowing what's in the CC, knowing where the uh, Teslas and stuff are. But that doesn't help that much, to be honest. Uh, well, I guess it does, but not as much in the air attack, probably. Has the zap quake for that air defense. And one thing I want to point out is why he zap quaked the middle air defense. That allows him to isolate each air defense. If he zap quaked um, the you know the left one or the right one, however you look at that, the one that's on the side, he the air defenses would have been covering each other, the two that remained up. By taking out the middle one, now each air defense cannot cover the other one, so he can come at the air defenses one at a time, which allows his Lava Hounds to get more value because they're only taking for one air defense. He can take out the defenses in more of a um, methodical manner. And uh, because of that, the base is going to go down a lot easier than if both air defenses were activated at once. Because when both air defenses are going, then you have to send basically all your balloons in. Otherwise, the Lava Hounds are tanking for nothing. And because of that, it just, the, ba the ba base doesn't go down as quickly. Um, kind of having trouble explaining it. But yeah, you want to take out the air defense in the middle if they're kind of all lined up like that. Because that allows you to take the base out in sections. Uh, so hope that makes sense. Just kind of a leap of faith maybe. But you know, maybe you guys can kind of see the logic behind that. Uh, it just allows you to take the base out in segments. Because the air defenses don't cover each other. So anyway, awesome attack to Rich. Queen is still barely up. Uh, so he definitely got some good value from his kill squad. Ton of balloons left up. Uh, nice attack. And uh, that's going to do it. Only three attacks today. Um, it have been a little bit busy lately. That's why there's been a few uh, days we haven't had uploads. But, um, you know, I, I'm going to get back to it this weekend, and you'll see some awesome content as we continue to see kind of the effects of the update, how the game's changed, but also how it stayed the same. And I'm really looking forward to the Arranged War this weekend. Uh, it's going to be awesome. The first of our season. I'll talk more about the season and the, tr the tournament or kind of the playoffs part of it, all that good stuff, because uh, I do have some more information if you guys are interested about what we have going on in Genesis in terms of our upcoming schedule for this uh, new event we're in. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.